Hey, it's Tracy Reuter. I just wanted to shoot a quick video. Um, I just got through a little bit earlier today hosting the social media marketing happy hour. Super fun. If you missed it, go to socialmediamarketinghappyhour.com and register for our next happy hour. Anyway, um, one of the things we talked about today was Twitter and I mentioned briefly a big no-no in Twitter is connecting your Facebook to your Twitter. So some of you might be doing this where you post in Facebook and it automatically updates into Twitter. So um, I'm trying to see if I can find a couple examples really quick. That's not really what this video was about, but I'm just looking, looking, looking. Um, okay, boy, all of a sudden, wow, that changed. Okay, um, I'm trying to see if I can show you what it looks like. Anyway, basically what happens is, oh, Whoa, well here's an example. Seriously, what is happening <laughs> with my screen? You know, I'm shooting this on the day of a full moon and uh, all sorts of crazy things happen on full moons. Okay, so here's, here, here's an example. Why does it keep going away? I'm not gonna put my, my cursor over because if I do, it goes away, but you can see where it says Justin Davis, right? It says Instagram.com and then it's basically linked to his Instagram. You can see there's no, Instagram doesn't show up. The actual picture doesn't, but this one here, oop, the picture does show up. Um, okay, let's keep going. Let me see if I can find, okay, here's another one. This was posted straight through, um, through Twitter. The picture shows up. Another one straight through. Whenever you see the images, it's because they were shot, they were uploaded from Twitter. Here's one that shows Instagram. Um, I'm trying to find one that shows somebody coming straight from face. Okay, here's one. Um, nope, that's not it. Gosh darn it. Right here. Oh, here's one. Um, all, where it says dating dementia. I'm, if I oh there it goes. So fb.me. This is meaning somebody came straight from Facebook. They're not actually posting in Twitter. They've connected their accounts and you know you can do that you can absolutely do that if you are pressed in time and you're just trying to get in different places you can do that but i want to encourage you to use your time wisely um, if you actually want to build a following of in in twitter build a business develop powerful relationships followings credibility twitter people <laughs> do not like this they won't they won't read your stuff they won't click on it all right it, it's it's just a little nuance in twitter you wouldn't know it if you weren't over here and so i just wanted to show you really quick how to disconnect it because some people weren't sure how to do that so in your twitter you're going to go up to this gear right up here up in the right uh right hand corner click on the gear click on settings and then under settings you're going to go down here to apps okay and I don't have it in here because I'm not, I have it disconnected, but you'll find where it says Facebook, okay? You'll just scroll through and you'll find where it says Facebook and you'll click on revoke access. So if you've been um, connecting your Facebook so that automatically it updates in Twitter and you wanna disconnect it, this is how you do it. Now, the way you disconnect um, Instagram is you just don't post to Twitter from Instagram. I want to highly encourage you not to do that. If, you, if you've if you got great images and you want to share it on, on Twitter, it'll take you just a couple, uh, a couple seconds longer. All you have to do is before you hit publish in Instagram, when you're in your Instagram account, it's a little bit harder to show you this on video, um, I'll just talk it through. But when you're in your Instagram account, before you hit um, the button, um, before you hit the button to let me see what it's called. Share, right before you hit the share button. All you have to do is copy and pay, uh, just copy the text you wrote into Instagram. Just copy it. Just like go up, you know, use your phone, copy it, and then head over to Twitter. Open up your Twitter app on your phone, and then it'll allow you to choose the picture. You can paste in what you just wrote, and then your picture will show up in the Twitter feed. You'll it'll you'll get much better results. It's just a little tiny little tiny hack, little social media hack. From me to you, Tracy Reuter, the best is yet to come. Clean up your act. <laughs> follow me on Twitter. More importantly, follow me on Facebook. That's where it was my home base, but you'll find me on all the places. And I will see you next time.